When you consider a photo safari in Kenya, your mind often goes to the wide open plains of the Masai Mara and Amboseli. But today I am here to tell you about another place that you should really consider to be part of your photo safari itinerary in Kenya. Today I'm in Samburu. As wildlife photographers, we are always looking for unique subject matter. And let me tell you, Samburu is full of the most unique species, sightings, environment, completely different to the Masai Mara and Amboseli. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to get to Samburu, what you should be seeing in Samburu. I'll talk about the climate. I'll talk about perhaps what lens choices you should be making. And then what I'm going to do is at the end, I'm gonna share with you some of the images that I've taken now and some taken by my colleagues on previous visits to this amazing reserve. My name is Toby German, and I'm one of the co-founders of Pangolin Photo Safaris. It's my job and privilege to go out and find places like this to share with you, to add to your Kenya photo safari. If you'd like to join our growing community of wildlife photography enthusiasts, please consider subscribing to the channel. You'll also be supporting the channel. And then you'll also be kept up to date with all the new destination photo advice and gear reviews that we produce. The Samburu National Reserve is located to the north of Nairobi with the Masai Mara to the west and Amboseli closer to the southern border in Tanzania. Wilson Airport in Nairobi acts as a hub connecting these iconic destinations so you can easily connect between them in a matter of hours for a multi-destination safari. The flight time to Samburu takes just over an hour in a relatively large plane and when you land don't forget to check out the duty-free curio shops that help support the local community. The airstrips are located outside the reserve and a short drive from the camp. We tend to stay at camps inside the reserve as this allows us to get out at first light and back in just after dark for the best light. The Samburu National Reserve is classified as a semi-arid savanna. That means that it's much drier than, say, the open grasslands of the Masai Mara. Uh, it's much more thorny. Uh, the grass is much more yellow. There are mountains all the way around, which helps you get yourself orientated, but also provides amazing backdrops for animals as well. So when you're taking photographs, you can have these beautiful blurred out backgrounds. On a clear day, you can see Mount Kenya as well. So it's very, very different to the Masai Mara, but that means so are the animals. The Samburu National Reserve is not very large at around 165 square kilometers, and it has an excellent network of well-maintained roads. Off-roading is not allowed, but I found that using my 100 to 500 millimeter zoom lens, I was nearly always close enough to get the shots I wanted. So behind me here, you can see the Awasa Nero River, which is one of the borders of the Samburu National Reserve. Along the edges there, you see plenty of doom palms, these multi-headed palm trees, which are really symptomatic of, uh, of the Samburu area. Very cool uh, looking plants. Um, this river here is pretty seasonal. Uh, during the drier months, March, February, round about there, it's almost completely dry and you'll find herds of elephants digging down deep to try and reach the water. But when the rains do hit, mainly from Mount Kenya, which you can see from here on a clear day, this river can fill up in a matter of hours. It's quite extraordinary. And you certainly don't want to get caught in a, in a flood coming down there. But uh, really, really beautiful, iconic vista of Samburu. Samburu is known for its unique inhabitants and none more so than the Samburu Special Five, which you are unlikely to find altogether in other locations. These are the Grevy Zebra, Beza Oryx, Reticulated Giraffe, Somali Ostrich, and my personal favourite, the Gerinook, or Giraffe-Necked Antelope. 
bird life in Samburu is prolific, with nearly 700 species on record. Highlights include the vulturine guinea fowl, Somali bee eater, rosy patched bushrike, secretary birds, and golden starlings. Large predators like leopards and lions are found in good numbers, as well as some of the lesser known, such as this very relaxed ard wolf that we saw one morning. Not a great photo opportunity as you can see from the images, but really nice to see nonetheless. So we're currently watching a lone lioness who is hunting some warthogs and then there's some Grant's gazelle and there's some geronook. So she's using the bank of a road as cover. She's just waiting, seeing if they walk towards her. If they do, hopefully she will pounce. We've got our cameras ready, let's see if we get some action. Finally, when she did make her move, the critical moment was obscured by dust, but we did see her dispatch a very large male warthog and drag it off to the river where she could find some shade to feed in peace. So good morning, you find me here on the morning of day four with my good friends Sakita and George, who have been working tirelessly along with Andy, our East Africa specialist who's behind the camera, uh, to really show us the very best of Samburu. If I was going to describe Samburu, I would use one word which is different. The landscape is different, the animals are different, the bird life is different. It's a really extraordinary place to come and see. And because it's so different to the Maasai Mara and Amboseli, I would really consider adding it on maybe at the end of an itinerary uh, just to get those different shots. Um, it's been absolutely superb and in a minute I'm going to share some images that I've taken, Andy's managed to take and also a few images taken by the Pangolin photo hosts when they've visited here previously with our clients. So I really hope you enjoy these images, you can see exactly what it is you can get here. I want to thank the guys here at Sambaru for their hospitality, it's been absolutely superb. Um, enjoy the images and then I look forward to seeing you on safari sometime soon. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs>